Stayallday.com. So right now we're talking about online dating. Because somebody was just asking me questions about how to meet the right type of men. We're going to do 10 minutes on this, ladies and gentlemen. I am very experienced in this area. I've done a lot of online dating. I mean, I go back to the MySpace era. What's up, one and only 71? When it comes to online dating, what's up, law school? Dara, Dara Nellis, Malik 20. I go back to the MySpace era. I was online dating when MySpace was out. Yes, I do have a girlfriend. I met my last two, three. The last three girls I dated, I met in online dating. Four girls. Probably the last 10 girls I met online dating. <laughs> I can't even remember. I met a lot of women online dating. I go back to MySpace, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, what's the thing? What was the thing? Plenty of Fish. The, current, the girl I'm in a current relationship with, I met on Plenty of Fish. I did Tinder. All those dating apps I messed with. Have ever been catfished? Not to the point where I actually went and met the person and found out it wasn't them, but I'll probably talk to somebody that wasn't really that person. So, the Black Planet, yes, I did Black Planet. Did it last? Yes, relationships did last. I met girls online through relationships, so I one and only says she has not had any success. So, this is what I know about online dating, at least from the male side. First of all, you need to have some pictures that are attractive. You don't want to have your bathroom selfie pictures. It's 2015, about to be 2016. If you still got bathroom selfies on your online dating profile, you are losing right now. Delete those pictures. Go get a friend of yours to take a picture of you in the park, of you smiling with some nice presentable clothes on, whatever you consider to be nice and presentable. Get them to take a portrait of you, all right? No bathroom selfies. Don't take a picture with your middle finger up. Uh, don't have a picture of you holding a bottle or holding something that you're smoking. Don't put those on your online profiles for dating. Because if you do that, then you're inviting those are the type of people that you invite. The way you present yourself is the type of people you're trying to invite. All right, so when you dress a certain way, like the way I'm dressed right now, there are certain people who are going to be attracted to me. But if I have a suit on, there are a whole different other type of people who are going to be attracted to me. Just because that's just the way human beings think. Do I have my dad picture up? Not on an online dating profile. I have no online dating profiles because I'm not online dating right now. I'm not available. So I don't have an online dating profile. But these are the things that I know work and don't work from my own personal experience and from my conversations with women who do online dating to see what they're attracted to, what they're not attracted to. So you need a picture. Yes, I will email you. If you email me, I will email you back. Yeah, you don't have to ask me to email you back. If you send it, I'm going to write you back. It just might take some time because I get more than one emails, more than one email a day. Picture's not the issue with men. The men that you meet are the issue. So that means you're not doing a good enough job vetting these men before you decide to meet them. So I think that might be your challenge. Tell me a little bit more about your experience. Dope Man says, is online dating dangerous because there are many predators on the sites? Well, there are predators everywhere in the world. Everything's dangerous. Driving a car is dangerous. Crossing the street is dangerous. Playing basketball is dangerous. Having a job is dangerous. Going to the barbershop, dangerous. Going to the gas station, dangerous. Going to the grocery store, dangerous. Everything's dangerous. So if you think, of, if you look at life in terms of what might hurt you, then you won't do anything. You'll just be crawled up under your bed for the rest of your life. Should I do a background check? No, I wouldn't say a background check, but just get better at Get better at using your instincts for is this the right person? Do I like Cam Newton? Yeah, what, what about him? Welcome to the danger zone. Yeah, exactly. Look at how many predators are right. Yeah, predators could be anywhere. Not in person. Oh, so you haven't met them in person. So what is, what is it that's happening with you one and only? What's been your problem? Well, online dating for men. Let me speak for men here. First of all, you need to write something in your profile. Don't have a two-sentence profile. If the online dating app or website gives you space to actually talk about yourself, Talk about yourself. Open your mouth or well, open your fingers and actually talk about yourself. What you like, what you don't like, where you come from, what you're looking for in a woman. Be open and honest about what you're looking for. This is the number one thing that I see men making mistakes when it comes to women. Be open and honest about what you want. Are you looking for a relationship? Are you open to a relationship? Are you just looking to have sex? Are you just looking for friends? Do you want to just hang out? Are you looking to network and just do business? Be honest about what you want. If all you want is just some women to have sex with here and there, what you'll find is there are women out there who are looking for men to have sex here and there. So if you're open about it, you'll be surprised at how often you get exactly what you want. When you're clear and open about and honest about what it is that you want, you can get it. But see, when you try to play games, act like you're looking for a girlfriend, but all you really want to do is have sex, then you're going to have women angry at you and hating you, and it creates bad karma. That's what I think. You're putting bad energy out in the universe. So men, please be honest about what you want. It'll make it much easier for you, trust me, to get what you want when you're honest about it. One asks for money, or they said send pictures of their bodies. Well, you're talking to the wrong type of men, one and only, which means you might be attracting the wrong type of guys, or you're not talking to enough guys. So I think it's more important to practice all the different types of, I didn't see that. Games come back. Yeah, exactly. Games come back. Exactly. When you put out bad energy, you're going to get bad energy that comes back to you.
So if you're looking to get married, say, listen, I'm looking for somebody I could possibly settle down with. Not necessarily got to find them here, but that's where I'm at in my life. What's the advantage of online dating? Why guys don't go out and meet females? The advantage of online dating is that you can talk to 100 people in one day, whereas in person you might not be able to meet 100 people in one day. You don't have enough time and energy. can't be in more than one place at one time. But if I get on an app, I can scroll through 200 pictures of women in five minutes. Whereas in real life, how long would it take me to go see 200 women who might be open and interested? Now, I think it's more important to practice all types of things or just one thing. What do you mean? What are you talking about? What does it have to do with online dating? <laughs> so, ladies and gentlemen, we're taking questions about online dating, all the apps that's out there, men, how to meet women, women, the type of men you're meeting, if you're having trouble meeting the right type of men. Number one, well, we're not talking about basketball sports account. We're talking about online dating here. Maybe paid sites are better than free. Listen, I know people. I know people who are married who met on eHarmony.com. They paid for the eHarmony membership. They wrote out their whole thing, and they got married basically as soon as they met. They decided to get married and met and got married. I know people who have done that. What age did I start online dating? <laughs> 14 with AOL Instant Messenger. <laughs> Am I going to do basketball eventually? Yes, I always talk about basketball. What's going on, Gracel Carter? Gracel Gerber, how you feeling? We're talking about online dating right now. Blackpeoplemeet.com. You know what? I never did Black People Meet. I was doing MySpace. I think I might have been in a relationship when Black People Meet came out. But I like the challenge of getting a girl to like me in person. Um, I, don't, I don't consider that a challenge of getting a girl to like me. I mean, I find women I'm interested in and we have conversation and we see where it goes. I don't, I don't see it as a challenge. It's not like a sport. Let me see how many girls I can get to like me. Listen, you can only be with one girl at a time, or at least that's the way I think. Some people like you know, polygamy. Yeah, BlackPlanet.com, was, that was back in the day. I used to be on Black Planet. That was one of my first, that was the first place where you could actually write out a profile. So AOL, you could do the little... You had a little bit of a profile, but it was different. How beneficial is online dating versus traditional dating? Well, the thing is, again, the difference with online dating is that you can talk to a whole bunch of people in a short period of time. So you get to compress time frames. That's the thing about online dating for me. Now, some people do online dating because they're afraid to have real-life conversations. That's a different story. I'm not one of those people. Do I have kick? No, I do not have kick. The number, one, the number one benefit, I would say, to online dating, we got two minutes, 45 seconds left, ladies and gentlemen, is that you get to compress time frames. You get to talk to somebody who otherwise you may not have met in person. I have lots of online success. Exactly. Seven-year relationship now in a well-deserved break. That's great. Easier to vet in person. I agree with that. It definitely is easier to vet in person. But listen, how many people can you meet in person in one day? So you, first of all, with online dating, I would say the key is get better at instinctively figuring out who's who, what's what. Have a phone conversation. Am I going to do another one? Maybe. Have a phone conversation with the person that you're talking to online. Once it gets that far as you think they might be worthy, talk to them on the phone and know what you want to know. Be clear about what you're looking for, ladies and men. Be clear about what you're looking for. So young men seem like older women, like you said, like your age. What is your age? Say so, Andre4122 said, hook me up with one and only. Well, number one thing I tell you, Andre, is if you got to ask somebody else to hook you up, then you probably you probably need to look at my scope that I just did on confidence. <laughs> one and only said, 44. Well, listen, are you interested in younger men, or do you want a man that's your age, you want a man that's older? Do I like looking the person in their eyes, touching them, and deciding the interest level? Yeah, of course. I like talking to people online, too. I like both. I'm not an either or. I like both. I don't consider one to be better than the other. I think you can meet the right person online. You might meet the wrong person online. You can meet the wrong person in person. What do I think about Beyonce and Jay-Z and the age gap? I don't think anything about it. They want to be together. That's their right. Um, you want to look at that scope? Yeah, please do. Please do. We got a minute and 10 seconds left, ladies and gentlemen. We're talking online dating. I may do another one after this. Actually, I am going to do another one after this. I don't know what it's going to be yet, but I will do another one. Can't be as young as my sons or as old as my dad. All right, how old are your sons and your dad? <laughs> What's the age range you're looking for? Let's, let's narrow it down to that. Not ready for dating, ask you to hook him up. Yeah, exactly. Or maybe he's just joking. Who knows? It's saved, right? Well, it's on Periscope. Be on here for 24 hours. Am I ASAP Rocky? No, I don't think I look nothing like him. What I suggest is a good first date thing to do or meet for the first time in person. Great question. I say go to Starbucks, sit down, and just have a conversation. Ten-minute conversation. If after ten minutes you feel like you can't stop talking to this person, you just want to keep talking, that might be the right person. If ten minutes goes by, listen, if you can't talk to somebody for ten minutes, male or female, y'all meet at Starbucks and ten minutes is not even a smooth conversation, you talk to the wrong person. So now it's done. All y'all got that? Yeah, don't go to anybody's house. No, that's crazy. 
No, especially me females. Don't go to nobody's house. But me personally, because I ain't even going front. I met women online, and they invited me to their house, and I went to their house. I'm still going to have to tell about it. So. <laughs> so, <laughs> this timer, the timer just went off, ladies and gentlemen. I'm about to fill up my... It's a risk. I would say it's more of a risk for a female than a male. If I knew a female, let's say I had a female friend, and she was going to meet some dude at his house, I'd say, no, don't do that. But a male, I don't think it's that much of a risk. I'll go to a female. If I met a female in my single days, a female said, hey, why don't you come to my house? It's 1043 on Saturday night. Hey, why don't you come to my house, watch uh, Netflix and chill? Uh, listen, I'm getting my car keys. I'm going to the house. Listen, and that's a whole other conversation. But this one's wrapped up, ladies and gentlemen. I'm about to do another one in a second. I'm going to fill up this bottle, and then we're going to come right back. You'll see the topic in a second, so make sure you all follow me. I'll be right back, DreAllDay.com. This video, I'm sure you were entertained. Make sure to stay connected with me on all your favorite social networks, Twitter and Periscope at DreAllDay, Instagram, Dre Baldwin, Facebook slash Work On Your Game. You can bookmark my YouTube channel by subscribing, of course, and the website is WorkOnYourGame, that's dot M-E, WorkOnYourGA.me. And of course, my homepage is my website, DreAllDay.com, so you can know exactly what I'm doing, exactly when I'm doing it, and how you might be able to be involved. Work 